As France continues to launch attacks on ISIS targets in Syria, there is pushback here in the U.S. against refugees from that war-torn country. One of the terrorists behind Friday's deadly attack is believed to have entered France with immigrants fleeing Syria. So tonight, the governors of 23 U.S. states have said they will not accept Syrian refugees being allowed in the U.S., to cross state borders. Here are those states. The first to make the announcement was Alabama, and as the day went on, other states followed. They're the ones in yellow. Now, California maintains that refugees are welcome here. NBC Bears Robert Honda is live in Santa Clara, and Robert, we saw a similar backlash after 9 11, too. Well, that's right, Jessica. This is certainly not the first time groups within the Muslim community have been concerned about a backlash. And many say they're worried their friends and family will be put in danger because of a public rush to judgment. The growing call to block all Syrian refugees from several governors and presidential candidates in the wake of the Paris attacks is painful for many Syrian Americans, especially those who still hope to bring over family members. The Syrian American Council says it was stunned by the statements. I would say shocked uh, and, and just numb. I just want everyone to know that, you know, Syrian people are very peaceful people, very, very peaceful. And as I said, they are running away from ISIS. They, they, they want a safe haven. The Bay Area chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations says that's a key point. These are people who have been trying to flee violence. They have been facing violence themselves. They, these are not the folks who carried out these atrocious acts in Paris. Catholic Charities in San Jose says it will go ahead with plans to help refugees, including children, resettle here starting next month. They said there is very little chance of a terrorist sneaking through. It takes months and sometimes it takes years. So refugees are thoroughly vetted before coming into the U.S. These children are coming here. We have a Syrian refugee coming in December. So through no fault of their own, they have been caught up in these conflicts. So to hear that states are not going to welcome these children and families makes me very sad. Again, Catholic Charities says it plans to help up to 50 refugees starting next month and early 2016. Live in Santa Clara, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News. Okay, thank you.